Hey guys, Technomentary here today with another video for you guys. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to upgrade the RAM on your Dell laptop. So here, as you can see, I have a Dell laptop. This is a laptop that has 8 gig of RAM and I'm going to be expanding it to 16 gig of RAM. And before we go ahead and get started to show you guys, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech reviews, news, tutorials, and giveaways as well. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you know when we're doing those giveaways and such. So first thing you want to do before you even buy a RAM is actually go to the Dell's site to make sure that the laptop that you have or any PC that you have, go to their manufacturer's site and check out the model to see how much you can expand it and what kind of memory you should buy. So for this one, since it is a Dell machine, I'm gonna simply go to Google and type in Dell Tag Checker. So Tag Checker is like every laptop has a tag with it for a service and you can check what model it is without putting as much information. So as you can see here, I'm on Dell.com and we're gonna be here doing a service tag search to get our exact model of our laptop and to take a look at the manual. So right now I have the Dell machine here and for this one, uh, the tag number is gonna be at the bottom. You have service tag right here. We're gonna take that number there and then enter it in here for you guys. So let me see if I can quickly do that. So I have it already copied here. I'm gonna be looking at it as you can see it comes up here and then you're going to want to verify that's the model that you have and then go to documentation on whatever site you're on and documentation we want to look at the manuals so if you click on manuals you'll notice the manual for service and uh, setup and specification is here we're going to click down here and then it'll open up with all the specifications for this model here on this side because we're interested only in memory, we're gonna look at that. Of course, you can look for other components if you're looking to upgrade those components. So we click on memory, and once we click on memory, you'll start to notice some of the configuration on this. So this one, I have a configuration, I believe of eight gig DDR4, but it is expandable to 12 or with the four and eight gig, or I can do two eight gigs, which I'm gonna be doing here. I'm gonna have another eight gig here with me. I'm gonna be making a 16, or you can just put one 16 uh, DDR4 RAM and you'll be done with it. Other things to note is whenever you're buying another replacement one, you can find really good ones on eBay and Amazon. I, the one that I have, I'll show you guys that I ordered really cheap and you can look to buy if you're looking to buy cheap ones check out the link in the description i'll include that for you guys basically what you want to look for is that this type right and this um so this the first one example slot tells you how many cards you can put in so the two means there's two different slots that's why you can put it in two different slots and the next thing you're going to note is dual channel ddr4 this is the type that you want to look for when you're buying a replacement one to expand or to expand more memory and then the next thing you look at is the speed you want to match up up to the speed if you get anything higher it might not work so make sure that's this i usually match it exactly with that speed there and then it tells you max capacity max is how much you can have so if you had one 16 gig um ram stick that's all you can do you can't put two 16 gigs so don't get confused with that but you can certainly put like 8 and 12 to make 12 gig or two 8 gigs to make 16 gig but that's the max you can't put two 16 gigs like i mentioned that doesn't work like that so that's a good way to check to make sure that the memory stick that you're going to be getting is compatible so let's go ahead with the actual setup which is pretty straightforward to install so i'm going to move this aside and now i'm going to move in the one that i'm going to be upgrading here as you can see again we're going to take a look at that this one has 8 gig right now as you see and i'm going to go ahead and power this off simply just close it out here and then power it down here and then after we upgrade it, i'm going to show you guys it's key to turn it off whenever you do any kind of upgrades or anything i usually like to turn it off so close the lid here and then once you close the lid you're going to notice around this um you know your laptop you're going to have a bunch of these little 
a Phillips screwdriver most likely you're gonna go ahead and take those off so I have taken those off already as you can see here they're completely gone here so that's good to go so once you have that gone so usually it's like something like this or two or if you have a small fill up you want to get that and unscrew that quickly and once you have that you want to get your memory card ready so if you have it already um, grab the memory card which I am doing right now for you guys so you can see this here so like I mentioned I was able to get this really cheap one from uh, from the site that I included for you guys in the below if you guys are looking to buy it and we're gonna go ahead and take this and unbox it for you guys this one came in a few days after I ordered it so I'm pretty excited there go ahead and Take this one off. So here, as you can see, I have this one right here in my hand. This is the eight gig one. I got it exactly the same one that's installed on this laptop. So we're gonna have this and put this aside and then take this cover off. So to take the cover off, it's pretty straightforward on this. Usually most um, laptop that you have, I think I have the Dell um, series here. So usually after you open the screws up, it comes off pretty straight forward by simply going around the edges. And you're gonna be gentle with it. You don't wanna break anything. Because if you break something, you're gonna have more of an issue. Also to note guys, you might be invalidating your warranty if you do this, so be cautious of that. So here you go. So I took the cover off pretty straightforward here. And once I take the cover off, let me see if I can move this up for you guys. So moving the camera up a little bit so you guys can have a better shot at this one. As you see right here, this is the eight gig stick right here. So I'm gonna put the other eight gig right next to it. Pretty straightforward, one of the most simple upgrades you'll have on your on your laptop to do. So as you see right now, I have this one compared with the other one, which we see right there as well. So you're gonna do the same thing, look at how it does it and then do it the opposite. It's pretty straightforward to do. What you do is simply line up this little corner that you see, make sure not to touch these pins because they are very fragile and we don't want to damage those pins. You're gonna wanna line that up, right? And simply put it in like that. And there you go, you have the second stick, which is pretty straightforward. You line up that little edge, push, put it on, and then slide it in, and then gently push it downwards. And then there you go, you have installed the other eight gigs. You're pretty straightforward, guys. And then take your cover, close up the cover gently. Usually, I like to wait to put the screw on just first to check if we got the 16 gigs installed. So we're gonna go ahead and then power on the machine again. So it's powering on right now. Okay, so it's starting to power on right now. So as you notice right away, there's a warning of the amount of system memory has changed, which is fine. So we're gonna hit, they're just confirming that. We're gonna hit continue here. Some of the computers, the other ones won't ask you for this. So um, if it does, you know, um, it just recognize that you have more memory now, that's all.
nothing to be concerned about. But other times I've seen on other um, PCs, it just goes through it and it doesn't even know, complain about it, and then it already picks it up. So as you can see right now, we're at that screen. Now I'm gonna go ahead and log in here. So here, let me log in here. So as you see, we're logged in here right now. And then we're gonna look at this PCs, properties. And what do we see here? We see now that is a 16 gig memory recognized. And that's about it for a memory RAM update. Pretty straightforward, guys. The hardest part is probably taking the screws off and then once you, and making sure you bought the right memory card. And once you do that, you just, install it and then power it on and you should recognize the disc so hopefully this video was helpful if this video was helpful make sure to hit that thumbs up button so that other people can see this video and make sure to hit that subscribe button so you know well, for more tutorials in the future we show you guys how to do things pretty simple and straightforward and the giveaways we'll be doing thanks for watching guys